Hi guys, welcome to this short video looking at how reactions occur. Okay, so if I start off with two different reactants, I've got my blue reactants A and my red reactants B here. For any reaction to occur, those two reactants need to be able to collide with each other. So the first key word you need to know is a collision must take place. However, if there is not enough energy when those particles collide together, when the reactants collide together, there will be no reaction. Now the reason for that is because it needs a certain amount of energy for that reaction to occur. So your second part of your definition of how do chemical reactions occur is when a collision occurs with enough energy. Now as you can see here, I've taken reactant A and reactant B, I'm reacting them together with enough energy and I'm forming my product. Now it's important to note that the reaction will only continue as long as you have some of reactant A and B left. So for example here, I've used up all of my reactant B, I'm only left with reactant A in there and my product, therefore the reaction has ended. The final thing you need to learn from this video then is there are two different ways you can speed up a reaction. You can increase the frequency of collisions and you can increase the energy of the particles. You can do that by either increasing the concentration, the temperature and the surface area, which we'll go on to in the next video. Okay, I've got a couple of questions that I'd like you to have a look at. The first one being, describe the conditions necessary for a chemical reaction to occur. So it's two key words I'm looking for from the video. And then number two, identify three ways you can speed up the rate of a reaction. Have a go at the questions and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So question one says, describe the conditions necessary for a chemical reaction to occur. So what you're looking for there is collisions between reactants. So I'm looking for the key word for your first mark of collisions. And then the second mark is talking about your energy. So there needs to be enough energy for the reaction to occur. So you get one mark for collisions, one mark for with enough energy. Question two, identify three ways you can speed up the rate of reaction. Number one, you can increase the temperature. Number two, you can increase the concentration. And then number three, you can increase the surface area. The other two things you could have put in there, increase the energy and increase the frequency of collisions. Okay, any three of those five marks would have got you three out of three. Let's move on to the review question, which is, on a sunny day when chemicals A and B are mixed together, a reaction occurs. On a cold day when chemicals A and B are mixed together, there is no chemical reaction. Explain why this is the case. So again, talk about the collisions and talk about what happens on a cold day in terms of energy. That brings this video to an end. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, click on like down below. You can have a look at the latest video, you can visit the website, and you can also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Bye now.